Hey, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to open and fly the Gala F4U Corsair. Good looking little plane. We've flown some of the others. Go to our playlist and you can see them. Here's the box. Turns, loops, does all kinds of stuff, it says. There's your wing. There's another bag of parts. There's your instructions. There's the back of the box, shows you all the parts. I think I have to open this bag, get the parts out. The yellow thing there is the sticky stuff that holds wings and all in place. Get the wings and all out. Elevator, rudder, wing, extra rubber bands. Here's your instructions. How do I assemble it? On the back it tells you how to fly it. Okay, let's get started. Mm. All right, elevator fits right there, like so. Take our sticky stuff and stick it down. It's like tape. They tell you on the instruction sheet what number on the sticky pad you need to use for what part. The other side, see right there, stick it to the plastic and the wing there. Undo our wheels, they twist them up so they'll stay together there. All right, got to get that little piece out of the eleva ele elevator. There's your rudder. Slips in the slots. Check instructions, see what numbers they want us to use. There's your wing supports. They fit right there and your wing's going to stick down to it with the sticky tape. Now the other side will slip in there and they'll snap together. Here we go. Hmm. I think it goes there. I think it goes better right there. Snap them together. Make sure you don't get your rubber band stuck in there. Okay, I think we got it. The wing slips in. The slot in the holders right there. Be sure your rubber band's above the wing. Easy because this stuff will break pretty easy. Ease it through right to the middle. Right about there. Okay. Now let's see on the instructions which tape we use to stick it down. Right there. Stick the plastic to the wing. Hold it together there. The other side too. Looks like we about got our plane put together here. You can only wind it one direction. See there, it won't wind that way. It won't wind up the rubber band. So wind it the other direction. Let 
Okay, here we go. We'll just give it a little test run here. There it goes. So everything works. Let's take it outside and fly it. Now, there's always some wind blowing outside, so we'll have to adjust for that. There's my automatic winder. It says 120 to 140 winds. I'm not going to start off with that many. Maybe 50 or so, just to see what it'll do here. Push the button, let it wind it. It's counting it for you. It's got a counter on there. See if we can get this to fly in the wind here. There it goes. Look, wind caught it and blew it off to the right, didn't it? I think we'll move a little bit, see if we can get that wind at our back now. Wind it up again. Let's see how this does. Whoop, kind of veers off to the right. Need to adjust that rudder a little bit, make it straighten it out. Pin that rudder to the left. That one worked. Well, that one's kind of flying off to the right. Let's try again. Straighten, move that rudder over. Wind it up. There it goes. That flew a little better. Still off to the right a little bit. We'll bend our rudder a little bit more. Straighten it out some. Wind kind of caught that one, didn't it? Whoops. Let's try one more. We got a lot more of these coming. Or I have a lot more up in the playlist, too. I we'll have more planes coming also. Wind it up again. Oh, that's a good flight. Look at there. All right, we'll see you next time.